Does listening to different frequencies help induce lucid dreaming? Well, we're going to find out today. My name is Tyler, and welcome to Team Lucid Dream. of today's video is something that polarizes the lucid dreaming community. If you do a search on lucid dreaming on Google or YouTube, you'll find plenty of results that have to deal with binaural beats. But what are binaural beats? What do they claim to do? And do they really help induce lucid dreams? So firstly, binaural beats are digital sound files that give off two different frequencies that are supposed to alter brainwave frequencies. Binaural beats are considered to lie in the realm of pseudoscience. While the claims of binaural beats aren't backed by any scientific studies, that isn't to say that they don't have some kind of effect on us. Before we go any further, let's look at the different brainwave frequencies that we experience on a day-to-day -day basis. These frequencies are comprised of Greek alphabet letters and can be attributed to very different actions and behaviors throughout the day. Starting off first is delta. Delta brainwaves range between 0.5 and 3 hertz or cycles per second. The low throbbing drumbeat of this brainwave is frequently produced during an REM sleep. While producing this frequency, the body rejuvenates and heals. Next up is theta. and this frequency is between 3 and 8 hertz. In theta, the brain ignores all outside influences and focuses on signals being sent from the brain. More often exhibited while in vivid and intense dreams, the brain uses this frequency to focus on memories and experiences, effectively processing the daily events in REM sleep. Next up is alpha. The alpha state of the brain, which ranges from 8 to 12 hertz, is the here and now state of the brain. This could be looked at as your constant flow of thoughts during your day. Most often exhibited while you are awake, it is also attributed to learning. Alpha can be looked at as the resting state of the mind. Next up is beta. Beta waves have a fairly large range for their frequencies, starting at 12 going to 38 hertz. Beta frequencies tend to happen when our brain is being analytical or solving problems and other things of that nature. This is only usually seen when we are awake and in deep thought. Lastly, there is gamma. Gamma was originally thought to be background noise, topping the chart at 38 to 42 hertz. Little is known about gamma, but it is usually attributed with universal love and altruism. Now, what if we were able to modify and change our brainwave for specific circumstances. This is where brainwave entertainment, or also binaural beats, comes in. The theory proposes that if you play a frequency of 530 hertz in one ear and 535 hertz in another ear, you're producing a, a third frequency at five hertz. By listening to these sounds, it is proposed that your brain will align its frequencies to the frequencies that you're listening to. An example is if a person would listen to theta waves, they should be in a more relaxed state of mind. Using these untested theories, it is said that if you would play gamma, a gamma frequency, that it would help you while dreaming to induce lucidity. While none of this has ever been proven scientifically, that doesn't stop many people from creating websites to applications dedicated to trying to help others uh, lucid dream with binaural beats. So why do people like binaural beats? Is it all just a placebo effect? Lastly, a lot of times in YouTube tracks where they're playing binaural beats, they also have relaxing music in the background. Could it just be that the relaxing music in the background is giving you that relaxed state. So what are your thoughts on binaural beats? Are they just a placebo effect or do they have any kind of effect on you? Leave a comment below. So that's going to do it all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more if you want to see more lucid dreaming videos from us. And don't forget to check us out on Twitter, on Facebook, and also our new subreddit. Until later, dream on.